Hey, today we're gonna shoot lasers, but not from blasters. We got the Algo Alpha 20 watt machine. It's a laser cutter engraver. It's very exciting. Let's go. Hey, hey, how's it going? Anthony Fro here, Create Sci-Fi. Before we get into our sponsored video from the Algo Alpha laser, 20 watt laser engraver. This is very exciting. Comes with an air pump. I wrote a book. <laughs> Check out my book. If you could go to Amazon, Amazon Prime, you could buy the book. Uh, you could get the Kindle. If you have Kindle Unlimited, you could pick it up there. Um, so yeah, this is basically everything I talk about on the channel with no budget filmmaking, but I walk you through it step by step, right? It's a very, I made it a very sort of digestible book. Um, and, and thank you so much for all of you who have supported me and bought this book uh, so far and, and left your comments on social media. That really means a lot to me. So if you're interested in making a film with no budget or just trying to figure out more about what it is we do here, check out the book. It really helps me, it helps the channel. And I'm really excited to share this with you. So check it out. So right, more sponsorships. <laughs> the channel's growing. Thank you. So this week we have a laser cutter engraver and I'm very excited about this. So obviously this was sent to us. This is a sponsored video. It's the Algo Alpha 20 watt laser machine. It comes with the air assist kit, the air pump, which is cool. It's variable speed. It's important to note that this uh, video is sponsored by Algo and they provided this machine to me for free. I've never used a laser engraver, laser and cutter I've never used one before, right? So we'll do an unboxing of this. We'll set it up and, you know, we'll we'll see what it takes to start cutting and engraving. And then I have some projects in mind that I want to do with this. Um, again, I always talk about the no budget filmmaking. In fact, I have a book about it. <laughs> and part of that is while I don't have the budget, I can, you know, make things in my shop towards the film so that when I do get some kind of budget, we can start shooting that. And the one thing I want to do is like a console. And I've done those before in foam. Uh, I have a couple of videos from Wakener where I did one. But with this, I want to be able to cut the board and do like really precision cuts and sort of some engraving. And uh, it, it's very exciting. So I think what we're going to do is we'll do a, a, a straight up unboxing and then I'll do like a, you know, a timeline assembly. Let's just go ahead and unbox this and see what's going on. All right, so I guess we just start unboxing. <laughs> I'm excited to get into this. Also afraid, always, you know, learning something new. Intimidating, but, oh wow. All right, so right away, it's a great presentation, right? It's like, everything's here you know sometimes you open a box there's peanuts and everything everywhere so this is uh hello right this is like an intro all right so this is they send you materials so like when you're test cutting that's awesome so i went ahead and bought some test materials but i i didn't have to do that they they provide them for you that is pretty cool all right, that's awesome. So I can use the test materials that I brought to buy, buy to uh, make some projects. This is user manual. Okay. Well, oh, see, it's in a box, and it's a quick start guide, right? So that's great because that's what I need. I, I always hate when it's like just tiny text 10 pages of instructions a lot of pictures okay i'm feeling i'm feeling better about this already okay oh another piece of wood and again like i said i bought a, a bunch of material anticipating this and it looks like i i didn't have to do that this is really great okay now we're getting into the machine well packed again i like that it's foam not peanuts oh wow look how nicely laid out that is all right so here's all the components right the frame
very straightforward. Oh, we got safety glasses. Power supply. And what's, what's that? Oh, wow. Look at that tool kit. And again, right? Like usually the tools and the screws, they're in like a shrink rack bag. Huh. And then, you know, I'm a nerd. I'll probably, <laughs> once I use these tools and screws, I'll repurpose this box for like supplies. All right. Cables. Okay. Cables. Okay, that's heavy. There's something in there. Oh, okay. And then there's the laser. Right? And this is attached to this rail. So let me be careful with that. Okay, these are the... I believe it's... it's what do they call that? The gantry? Kind of like with the 3D printer. Oh. It's getting real, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a rod, okay, I'm sure that has to do with the motors. Okay, and the last thing in here. Oh wait, here's another rail. All right, so these, this last rail is connected to the laser and everything. I'm gonna leave it in this box. Um, until I'm ready to assemble it. So let's put this aside. And the air pump. All right, let's open up the air pump. All right. Opening up the air pump. I'd imagine it's just as organizing. Yeah, just like everything else. Look how nice that is. Quick start guide. Again, from what I understand, it's, it's controlled by a a dual processor board and it uh, comes with another quick start guide so I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward you know like anything else it's an adventure but the way the materials the way this is all laid out I'm feeling very confident about this so let's go ahead and do a time lapse and I'm gonna assemble it I don't anticipate any problems so let's do that time lapse and then I'll come back as I understand it, unlike most 20 watt machines, this one uses a technology that compresses the laser spot from a rectangle to a near perfect square. It's like small as five hundredths of a millimeter, and that's what gives it like all this precision and power. It's pretty cool. And what's really cool about this is its ability to cut different thicknesses of materials and it's faster and more efficient than other laser engravers with a way higher output level. And you can see there as it comes together, the frame, the cut area is 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters. It's got the air assist, emergency stop, Wi-Fi. For an introductory machine, this thing's pretty impressive. The next day. All right, <laughs> so this is a day later. As always happens with these things, it's a new software. It's something I never used before. And whenever you watch the videos, it's usually like a laser cutting channel, right? And the guy or the gal puts it together, zing, 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 hooks it up, whatever. So for me, I've always found with new software that I've never used before, this happens every time. There's always some sort of glitch where it's something that's like a two second thing and it takes you a day to figure it out and that's just part of the process that's something i think that gets glossed over a lot so i uh wanted to share that with you um because it's part of the process everything works great everything works the way it's supposed to but i've never used this before right so i don't want to do a video where it's like okay zip 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 here it is and boom wow we're doing the thing took me a second like you can get free software that never works out great especially if you've never used it before so light burn seems to be the the thing that most everybody uses and what's important about that is it's a it's affordable and it's like you're gonna find all the tutorials you need because that's the one that most everybody is using right so enough about that so now 
we're assembled. I'm gonna give it power. Let's fire up light burn. We're not yet, let me power it up, right? So we'll give it a little power. Now that, I stopped because it felt like I did something wrong. All right, fingers crossed. And again, <laughs> this is amazing. Everything's working great. The only thing that's not working is me, right? I'm just trying to figure this all out. Um, so right, very different than like laser channel. Bing, 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 bing. This is like, let's figure this stuff out. All right, fingers crossed. Okay, that definitely feels like not what I wanted it to do. I almost got it. So I cut it out, but it's not engraving. Obviously, I'm doing something wrong. Let me watch some more videos and I'll be back. <laughs> the next day. Okay, I got the orange glasses on now. That means I'm serious. I think, I think I have it I'm getting there. So. Okay. Frame it. Max power, I'm gonna go 40. Speed, full speed, this thing goes fast. And then the line. Okay, six passes, okay, frame it. Preview. It's saying it's gonna take six minutes. Okay, do we let it rip? So far so good. <laughs> I went a little too hot, I think, with the cut, but I think we got the cut, and I think we finally got it. Let's bring it home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Cut through. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to look at some materials. This is like a really thick acrylic. It's going through this like butter. Um, I'm not sure how thick this is, but it's thick, it's reflective, and that looks pretty cool. All right, so now we'll go to the other extreme. This is like a thin metal, like uh, for etching. And you'll notice none of this stuff is perfectly lined up, but I'm just testing materials. I'll, I'll take more time to line things up better if it was a keeper. And then now this is what's kind of crazy to me is the etching. I just put a photograph in there. You know, it's, it was a dark photograph, probably a lighter one is better. But again, I wanted to just try this sort of out of the box with very little instruction. And that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Creepy, <laughs> but impressive. So I'm very excited about this laser, the Algo laser, 20 watt. This thing is a beast. And, and in the end, it's like anything else. It just ended up being common sense, right? I watched so many videos. Sometimes you gotta like let go, right? And I was like, I was just giving it way too much power. Now I wanted to do a video where I set it up and then showed all the amazing things about it by making the prop, but it's gonna be two videos. So this was me just getting up and running, which I'm very excited. Uh, the links to this machine uh, will be in the description. Again, thank you, Algo Laser. I'm very excited for the next video where I'm actually gonna make a, a set piece with this, right? So 
buy my book, <laughs> check out the merch shop. And as always, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. Let's kick it to the avatar. Hey, I'm just the avatar, but you might want to check out this video, maybe that video, for sure subscribe if you haven't, and check out the merch, buy some merch that really helps. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the avatar. <laughs>